YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and we are back here on Destiny 2 Forsaken. In this video, we are going to review the new exotic rocket launcher called the Two-Tailed Fox. So I worked all day on two exotic reviews, one for the Cerberus Plus One and one for the Two-Tailed Fox. I put out a poll on Twitter saying, which one do you want to see first? Well, pretty much everyone wants to see the Two-Tailed Fox, and rightfully so. I've got a silly question for you. Well, actually, two silly questions. If you played Destiny 1, did you like the Truth rocket launcher for PvP? Did you like the Gallahorn for PvE? Or even PvP for that matter? Well, this is kind of a little bit of both, but I'm going to say leaning more towards Truth. Now, if you think that the Sleeper Simulant is annoying in Gambit when you get invaded, well, the Two-Tailed Fox will say, hold my beer. In regular PvP, if you think the Colony is annoying, I think the Fox might say the same thing. Now, this is not one of those rocket launchers that you could just hip fire all the time. I mean, you can if you want, but it's ideal if you want to cross map someone because it's got tracking on it. Now, this is very similar to Truth, but it's weird because it has two rockets. So when you pick up ammo, like an ammo crate in PvP, you get two shots. But each time you fire those rockets, you actually get two rockets that blast off at the same time. One is Void and one is Solar. Now, you will see me getting a few double kills in PvP, but for the life of me, I can't really figure out how to get it to track onto two different targets. I think they have to be close. I know in that initial quick clip that they showed when they revealed this thing, you see them take out two Guardians that were clearly far apart. When I was in PvE, I was testing out locking it on enemies, and pretty much it would lock on one enemy, and then just it would go near them, basically. It wouldn't track onto multiple enemies for some reason. So will this replace my sins of the past? Is it worth using in Gambit in PvP? Well, we're going to go and compare some stats and do the full review. Uh, I feel really bad for this Warlock here. Watch this. He puts down his Well of Radiance, and just as he does, nope, he takes two to the face. All right, let's get into the perks, guys. So big shout out to Shea Fox, uh, and that's a convenient name, <laughs> Shea Fox, since we're reviewing on his account, the Two-Tailed Fox, from the Bahamas for letting me use his account. So let's go through the perks from left to right. So the main perk is called Twin Tails. So shoots two rockets, one void, and one solar. That can track onto the same target. It has confined launch, high velocity rounds, composite stock, and then the trait is called Play With Your Prey. The void rocket is going to suppress enemies, and then the solar rocket is going to cause damage over time. Now I ran a few strikes with this thing, and this thing puts in work. I don't know if it's Gallahorn like but man, this thing is really good in PvE. Uh, I think I would definitely use this in PvE over Sins of the Past. Sins of the Past, yes, it does have a better blast radius, but this thing has not only a really good blast radius, but it also has the tracking on it, and that's something that I like in a rocket launcher. That's what I loved about Gallahorn. That's what I liked about uh, Hunger of Crota. So yeah, I think this does deserve the insane in the title. Yeah, this thing's insane. It's amazing in PvP, and it's awesome in PvE. You've got suppression, and you have damage over time. But like I said before, you can't can't just hip fire it. It does not. It doesn't. I don't think it tracks when you just hip fire. Now, granted, if you're close, you can hip fire. But when you aim down sight, you're gonna see the sights light up, and then you're gonna hear a little beep, like a catch. I catch two there. No, I only got one guy there. But I'm just up here camping. I get that guy, and then I'm gonna catch two more in the hallway down there. So in terms of how to get the two-tailed fox, he said he got it from a powerful engram from Ikora Ray. He also said he got the Cerberus Plus One from just turning in gunsmith materials. Now, if you want to know about the lore, I will link it in the description from Ishtar Collective. I know you guys hate long videos, but it's pretty long, and I don't want to read it. So leave me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end and do me a favor drop a like in this video only if you see fit follow me on the twitter at mesa sean check out my stream usually and always on youtube and that is it i am out of here like vladimir